Hi, my name is Pan Shankar and in this video we would be looking into OCR or Optical Character Recognition using Python. Optical Character Recognition is a technology that is used to recognize text in images. It is used to convert typed, handwritten or printed text into a machine readable text. What is the use of it? Though we are moving towards a digitalized world and everyone is talking about digital transformation, organizations will always have stacked up files and documents as part of their business. The application of OCR is to help store these files in an organized way in laptops, computers or other devices. Think about the PDF documents in our organizations. OCR plays a vital role in making the PDF documents easily searchable using its information retrieval capabilities. Extracting information from handwritten documents is another important application of OCR. A lot of industries use OCR technology for automation. Banking is one among them where OCR is used for processing handwritten checks. Now, the plan for this session is to do a hands-on example of OCR. What we would first do is to pick a clear PDF document from internet and then try to extract the text out of it. Then, we would take handwritten text and see how OCR retrieves information from it. And finally, we will take a text image which is not so clear and then apply some basic fine-tuning techniques to extract accurate information. So, we are going to use Python for performing this task. Python is a great programming language and what we need to perform this task in Python is just a few lines of code. I would be using Python through Anaconda in this session. For those of you who are interested in the same approach, I am leaving the Anaconda download link in the video description. Google Tesseract is an OCR engine that we would be using in this session. I will walk you through from where to download and install it and also have provided the download link in the video description for your convenience. OpenCV is a Python library that we would be using for processing images. It is a library that is mainly aimed at real-time computer vision. This is the link from where you would be downloading Google Tesseract software. You could choose the 64-bit or 32-bit version as per your operating system and install it in your system. Once that is done, I am going into my command prompt and navigating into my Anaconda directory. Now, I am installing PyTesseract using python pip command. This would be the Python library of Google Tesseract that we would be using. Then, I am installing OpenCV library in Python. This is my PyCharm IDE that I would be using for writing Python codes. I will leave the download link in this video description for those who would like to use the same IDE. First, I am importing CV2 interface of OpenCV library. Then, I am also importing PyTesseract Python library. Now, what we need to do is to link the Google Tesseract software we downloaded and installed from the link I showed initially. If you have just followed the default settings, then the .exe file would be in the location I have given. Don't forget to add the R character before the quotation as it is given to treat the text inside quotation as a raw string. If this is not given, in some cases you might face an error message. Now, I am reading the PDF image that we would be using to extract information. Next, I am converting the image into a string and saving it in a variable named text. I want to now print the text and also show the image so we can compare it with the text we have extracted. I am just giving a wait time of 0. Now, if we look at our code, the part where the text in image is converted into a machine written text is just a couple of lines. I am then executing the code and now you are able to see the PDF document and the text extracted in the Python console. If we compare and read through the text, we can see that all the text in PDF is captured accurately. Now let's take this handwritten text in image and apply it in our code. I am just going to the image reading part of the code and changing the image. Now let's run the code again. And we would be able to see that the handwritten text in image is extracted accurately. Now that we have seen the basics of converting the text in image into a machine written text, 
Let's take a little more challenging image. If we look at this image, the text in it is not as clear as we had in our previous images. The accuracy of extracting information from an image largely depends on the quality of it. Now, let's change the image and run the script. If we look into the extracted text in Python console, we would be able to see that a major part of the text is captured accurately. But there are parts that need to be extracted in a better way. To address this, the best way is to alter the image in such a way that the text quality is amplified. There are two basic ways of doing it. One is to convert the image into a grayscale and the other step is to adjust the adaptive brightness of the image to see which would give us the optimal result. First, we will try converting the image into a grayscale. I am writing a code which will convert the image into a grayscale and store it in a variable called grayscale. Then change the code to assign the grayscale image for converting image to string and store it in the text variable. Let's also replicate the code to show the grayscale image. Now, when we run it, we should be able to see both the normal and grayscale images along with the converted text in the Python console. Now, we would be able to see the conversion with a little better accuracy. Now let's try adjusting the adaptive brightness. I'm using the functions and relevant methods that should be invoked to alter adaptive brightness of the image. The two numbers which I've given at the last should always be an odd number. 31 and 11 are just random numbers I've come up with. You can play with these numbers to adjust the way the image is getting modified. Let me show. I'm just changing and replicating the code to show the image that is being modified with adaptive brightness. Now, I run the code and we would be able to see all the images and extracted information. Now let's concentrate on the adaptive brightness image alone and change the numbers and run the script to see how it is affecting the image. We can do it till the point the text quality in the image is amplified and accuracy of extracted information increases. That's all we have. The idea behind this session is to give the basics of OCR. Obviously, there are a lot of advanced methodologies and concepts in OCR that can be implemented for application in various fields. I hope this helps you get started in that advanced direction. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Stay connected by subscribing my channel to dive into more details and learn more together. Please give a thumbs up and share if you have liked this video. Also, please comment below for any questions in this video and I will do my best to help you guys out.